In this video, we're going to be looking to see how to hack the Astra Free theme to make a custom sidebar. You can see it has a separate background color, has a border, has some nice headings, has pictures, has the posts widget so that you can put custom posts in your sidebar. Uh, this is the default way. Um, so to get started, I'm going to try and go with the most important steps first and then just go more and more into detail. Uh, to begin with, you need to change your customizer settings so you have one consistent background. To do that, go to the customizer. And then we're just going to customize the blog page. So I'm not going to customize the global container. I'm going to override the global container by going to blog, single post. Now I'm going to change the boxed view to full width contained. That will give you one single consistent color for the background. And then we set the sidebar background ourselves. So once you have this full width contained, you can see in the colors, if you back out global colors, this is going to be your background color for that uh, blog page, the site background. Content background is going to go away. So you can also go to colors and remove the border color because we're going to be, this is that border color I'm talking about. Go ahead and set it to the exact same as the site background to remove the border color. Otherwise you're going to have this thin border and then you're going to have a sidebar that's going to have your own borders. So instead of um, doing that, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and you'll see the borders disappear. All right, so now that we, let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Go to your post. Okay, so you can see it doesn't look much better, but now we're going to make the sidebar now that we have one consistent background color. So next, this is the, one of the biggest steps is um, we're going to go to appearance widgets and you'll see we have main sidebar and these are all these legacy widgets if you look at the uh, list view so all you need to do is go ahead and delete all of these legacy widgets once you delete all of these legacy widgets we're going to create the sidebar ourselves so you can do it with the group widget if you want um, that is an option but I prefer the uh, the free plugin Spectra and I'll show you what I mean on the one that I already designed so if I go to dashboard uh, appearance widgets and then here I got my main sidebar go to my list view all right, you can see I the first thing I did was I used a container widget from Spectra. And then within that container, I used three more containers. So these are uh, the Spectra widgets. And this will let you adjust some of the settings within it. You can still use the group block if you want. But this first one is the entire sidebar. So you can see in the style I used a background color that's slightly darker than the global color that I used for the whole site. That will give you a little bit, a little bit of a color to stand out for your sidebar. And then within this container, you can see I used some of these flex box properties. You want it to go full width within that sidebar. Flex properties. We have them uh, the direction going down so all of these containers will go down and I have aligned them center but within each of these little widgets these are your own widgets that you created we have the search block with this um, this button selected we have an image and a heading using the spectra heading so that's how I got that uh, gradient. I just added the heading block. And then when you add the heading block, you can then adjust the, get it a little smaller, maybe H4, maybe go to style. Where was the, um, where's the color at? 
think it was oh right here text color gradient and then it automatically changes it to the gradient so that's how I got the gradient heading and then I use the info box from the spectra plugin to get this text which has a little bit of a um, padding oh and that's the other thing once you make one of these widgets the container that holds all of your info you can just duplicate it and then change the content so then you just go ahead and you make it once and then you duplicate that container for the other three and then that this is also where I uh, added the border to each widget so under the container go to style border you can see the width is two pixels bottom and left solid color and I went ahead and used the color from uh, went ahead and used the color from my theme all right so that's how you get that first container the second container contains posts and I use the heading right here called posts and and then I use the post grid block from the um, spectra plugin as well so I went ahead if you had to do it from scratch you would search for the post grid widget right here once you get it installed you can look at the settings um, to get featured posts in your sidebar um, I would probably recommend selecting categories and then creating a category in WordPress called featured or featured posts and then you could select that here you just have to select the uh, the post when you create the post check the box that was called featured and then this tells the widget to insert all the featured posts into that space post per page three so if you only have three featured posts then those three will show up order by date um, the number of columns you could set to one one um, I don't know what zero doesn't I guess doesn't even matter all right and then um, I have some content padding here um, where was the content uh, here image here you, it's gonna show the featured image if you check that and then the content you could show the author maybe the excerpt or I just prefer the title so if you scroll down on that option it's going to show the title right here yeah right there all right and then um, this one right here this this next container kind of shows what it looks like when you don't use the featured image so if you don't want featured images showing up in your featured posts I just did a similar type of example and then I uh, went ahead and went ahead and uncheck this featured image so that's pretty much it on how to get going with your own custom sidebar um, it's really helpful using that spectra plugin it's free it has a lot of nice free widgets and the trick is is to kind of make it from scratch in here with these containers you can use the group block and give them borders and then have three groups within this top group and then do a background color on this top group but I kind of like the way that um, the styling options work with uh, with the spectra plugin Hope you found this helpful. If you did, let the algorithm know, and I'll see you next time.